Question 6, 2008, Higher Maths, Paper 2. The diagram given, Q lies on the line that joins 0, 6 and 3, 0. So Q's on this line, and we've got a rectangle OPQR formed um, with the origin uh, and the point Q as opposite points in this rectangle. Um, and we're asked a whole lot of things, but interesting, looking ahead in part B of this question, we're asked to find the coordinates of Q for which this rectangle has a maximum area. Now, if this has to change somehow to produce a maximum, which implies that you could have a rectangle that's got a lesser area, uh, and this is changing somewhat, somehow, um, then we should be looking at Q and imagining Q moving along this line. Now, let's just do that. So here's the diagram again, and this time I can take the point Q, slide it along this line. I'll just do that a few times. Look at the rectangle OPQR. Very small area. Area is increasing. Somewhere in there it reaches a maximum area, and then its area decreases again. So as Q moves from B to A and back again, the area goes from zero to a maximum, and then back to zero. So the point Q being on the line AB. If we suppose that Q is the point x, y, and as it travels along this line, there'll be a relationship between x and y. That's the equation of this line AB. So let's try and find the equation of this line AB. So first of all, we need to find the gradient of the line. It's, we know it's negative. Um, from, just from the diagram, we're going along 3. Remember, this is the point 3, 0. We're told that in the question. And this is the point 0, 6, A. So we're going along 3. Along 3 and down 6. So the gradient of the line AB is distance up or down, that's the 6 divided by the 3. And as we said, it's negative downhill. That's a gradient of minus 2. And we know the, the y-intercept uh, is 6. So y-intercept. Uh, 0, 6. So the equation is, and we would be thinking y equals mx plus c. Okay, so there's our thoughts on this one. So the equation is y equals negative 2, that's the gradient m, x plus c. And C is where it crosses the y-axis. So y equals minus 2x plus 6. So as this point moves along this line, the relationship between x and y is given by this. So in particular, if x is t, as the question says, if x is t, then y will be minus 2t plus 6. Because this equation tells us the y-coordinate is minus twice the x-coordinate plus 6. So this y-coordinate is minus twice this, plus 6, minus twice t, plus 6. So, 
in this diagram, this is the y coordinate of q. There's its x coordinate, there's its y coordinate. So this will be minus t plus 6. So qr is minus t plus 6, which is part a of, of, of the question. And moving on to part b, this asks us to find these coordinates for this rectangle to be at a maximum. And remember, grabbing this changes as, as q moves along the line. Um, the area of the rectangle changes. We, we have to try and find the position for q, the values of x and y there, um, that gives a maximum for this area. So let's just write down the area and notice that it depends on t. If we move uh, t and, and make t smaller, this, this is the value of t now, that changes the area. So basically it depends on this value of t, really the x-coordinate of q, but this value of t. So we could put down that uh, a is a function of t. a depends on t and basic rectangle area length times breadth. So t times minus t plus minus two t plus six. So it's length times breadth two t plus six. Um, possibly it would be better writing this as six minus t. Doesn't matter which order you add this negative two t and this six together. So possibly. It looks nicer if we write it like that. So this, of course, is a quadratic. If we multiply this out, we get 6t minus 2t squared. It's got a squared value for t, so it is a quadratic. And we certainly can work out maximum values of quadratics. Up here we would have our y chord, our y, which basically is a to the t in this case, and this is our normal x, in this case it's t. So as t changes, the area changes, remember what we said was um, if x coordinates very close to zero, if t is zero, um, the area would be zero as it increases all the way up to three. Uh, the rectangle area comes back down to zero. So somewhere in here, it's at its maximum. Um, let's sketch this. Um, we can do that by finding where the graph, the quadratic graph, the parabola, crosses this t-axis, uh, in which case we would say the t-axis intercepts. In other words, we have to set this equal to zero, are found by solving when is this equal to zero. And of course, we've got two things. Multiply give you zero, one or other of them zero. So t equals zero or six minus two t equals zero. Uh, in this case, add 2t to both sides, 6 would be equal to 2t, and divide both sides by 2, t would be equal to 3. So the parabola crosses at 0 and 3. Now, I think we might have expected that, because if we get back to the diagram and move this point, there's t being 0, and the area is 0, and there's a value of t that's 3. And again, the area of the, rec the rectangle is 0. And again, somewhere in the middle, it's at a maximum. Um, so this is very much tying up with our little moving diagram here. So it crosses at these two points. Remember the t squared 
term is going to be negative, there's where it's a, what we'd call an upside down parabola, a concave downwards parabola. Uh, so the graph is looking like that. And remember, parabolas, quadratic graphs, have an axis of symmetry. Uh, immediately tells you that the value of t we're looking for is one and a half or three over two, 1.5. Um, that's giving us our maximum value for the area. So let me just go back to the move this point to one and a half, which is roughly um, there. And that seemingly, when t is one and a half, that is the maximum area of the rectangle. Now the question asked for the coordinates, so we've certainly uh, got one of the coordinates, we've got the x coordinate of the point Q, um, but not the other one. So we'd say when uh, t equals 3 over 2, uh, area is maximum. And that's basically proved in the in the diagram there. Uh, to find what that maximum is, we would have to. Well, no, we don't need to find that maximum. We're basically trying to find what the y coordinate is. It asks for the two coordinates of the point that gives this maximum. So we have found this is three over two. We're now wanting to work out the y coordinate, which would be minus two t plus 6, where we know t is 1.5. So the y-coordinate is equal to minus twice t plus 6, which is minus 2 times 3 over 2 plus 6. Now these twos cancel. You'll get a minus 3 left minus 3 plus 6 is 3. So the coordinates are 3 over 2 and 3 for the values of the coordinates that gives this rectangle its maximum area.